So we'll start by loading in a kick drum, a standard 909 kick drum. Ooh, nice. There's the kick drum sample. Now we're going to go ahead and put it on C1, standard general MIDI mapping. We'll audition it. Okay, I'm going to check it from my controller. Need some release on it. Sounds nice. And I get a little velocity on it. Nice. Okay. Now let's go for a snare drum. For the snare drum, I want something that's nice and multi sampled. Drums and percussion, drum and kits. I'll go ahead and grab a pop kit. Snare drum. Snare drum should be on D1. There it is right there. D1. Nice. These are all nice. I'm going to grab this whole zone right here. Because I like all these, so I'll click and drag around here. I'm going to do copy zones. I'm going to come up to my other end and next here, the one I'm building. There it is. Now I'm going to check from my controller again. Turn on select zone via sample so you can see what I'm playing. these two and I've even got this one up here. And that's way too far away. I don't want it up there that far. So I'm going to move it to F1 here. Now. Okay, now I'm going to do that same operation here and go grab a hi-hat. Grab something from a different kit here. Let's grab something from Clubhouse Dub Kit. Let's try that out. Those are interesting. I'll go ahead and grab those. Again, the same situation here. I'm going to go ahead and get these. I'm going to go ahead and go copy zones. Go up here. Paste zones. There they are. Look at that. So I want to grab a Rex loop. And in order to grab a Rex loop, I need to load it through the patch browser. Some Rex percussion loops here. Darbuka. Grab it at about that one. So we'll go ahead and load it in here. So we've got our, our Darbuka here. We'll go ahead and grab this and we will copy the zones. We'll go up to our sampler up here and we will paste the zones. Boom. Okay, now as you can see, these guys are conflicting, sitting on top of the other zones that I had already created. So simple fix is to move it down by clicking and dragging, and there it is. Now I don't think that I want any additional release time on it, but I would like it to be a little velocity sensitive. So go ahead and turn this up a little bit. Okay, now let's bring in um, let's bring in a bass sound. For the bass sound, I think I will choose something from my own library. And I've got some bass samples here. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go 
go for that one. Now obviously it's just sitting on top of everything again. So we'll go ahead and adjust this zone so that it's not sitting on top of everything. Boom. And I will adjust this side here. I shouldn't need a real big octave. Let's see here. I will go from, there's one octave. I'll go about an octave and a half. Let's make sure that it came in on C. We'll go ahead and readjust the root note here. And I think I want to zone this too. It should be in its own zone. Group selected zones. There it is. And I definitely want some velocity on it. And I don't really need much release on it. So if I go to my controller keyboard around C4. There it is. And last but not least, let's add a little piano. I think I'll add maybe find some kind of Rhodes piano or something. So I'll go ahead, load up some patches here. I want something really simple. I think I'll actually go to N19 patches. Organ, piano, strings, synth, and keyboard. Here, let's try this. Yeah, let's grab a PPG here. Let's try this out. Okay. So if you look back up here, I'm at C5. So I've got space above C5. Let me grab everything from between C4 and C5. Looks about right. Go ahead and copy zones. Go ahead up here. Go ahead and paste my zones in. Boom. There we go. Okay, now we've got another problem here where things are sitting on top of each other but it should be fairly easy to simply transpose this up. So let me adjust this so that I can slide everything up a little bit. I'll put this at about C7. Let's see, high key B, C7, there we go. Grab these. And I will scoot this up here to C5. Looks like I've got to scoot this down. A little bit so we don't have a problem here with the notes sitting on top of each other. And just to finish off the keyboard, I'll go ahead and spread this up here like that. There we go. Now, uh, up on the top here, I have, top here I've got a kick drum, which actually, yes, where is it? Way up here, there it is. Got some really cool snares. And got some hi-hats. And I've got a whole bunch of, probably more than I need, Darbuka slices. And then up here above C4, C5, I've got bass. And then way up. A little synth. And that's it. That's my entire custom-made NXT instrument with all the sounds, samples I need to produce a whole little beat.